Hello, hello, hello. And this is the Ibanez TMB5 uh, in delightful mint green. I don't know if it'll come out on the colour because when I ever hold this up to cameras, it looks almost white, but it's, trust me, it's mint green. And what's unique about this? Well, not only is it a, a, a budget guitar, uh, but I don't know if you've noticed, it's five string, but it's also short scale. It's a, yes, it's a short scale bass. Um, and that's an unusual combination of it, short scale and five string, and being at the lower end of the budget. You can pick these up for about £200 in the UK. Prices may vary where you are. Please use Google. Google is your friend. Um, it has a maple neck, poplar body, Jatoba fretboard, which is kind of like Rosewood. It's not too bad. Um, 20 frets. Um, it's got, yeah. Two pickups configurations, the uh, well a jazz style, jazz style pickup there, and a precision split pickup, which is you know, for five strings, which is unique. Um, uh, chrome hardware, and uh, yeah, you've got the uh, volume, volume, tone configuration. Of course, your input there, and yeah, I mean in terms of uh, you know workmanship, it is. Yeah, it's a, you can feel it's a budget guitar, but you know there's no there's no rough fret edges. Uh, when it came to me, it needed a little bit of setting up. Uh, there was a little bit of buzzing below the twelfth, but we we tweaked it. I, I raised the action slightly. Uh, needed intonating because again, just slightly out. Um, but apart from that, you know, for the money, you can't complain. It is a solid instrument and in the demos that you've heard hopefully you'll get an idea of the tonality of it it's uh yeah it's uh it makes a statement you know for, again for the money you cannot complain and i was very interested in trying a short well firstly a short scale bass never tried one of those before and also i thought it'd be quite interesting with a, a five string configuration uh yeah it's quite the, the a uh yeah short scale bass the strings are a little bit a little bit sloppier, a little bit looser, you know, so that's kind of getting used to, but you do have a better reach over the fretboard, um, which is good. It's good for me because I have tiny little Donald Trump hands. Um, so, yeah, I think, again, for the price, it's a no-brainer. It really is a no-brainer. It's shortfalls are outweighed by the budget and the overall quality of the instrument um, it's not a it doesn't feel particularly budgety it feels like a good couple of hundred pounds more expensive <laughs> than you actually pay for it um uh, yeah i mean that's it really i mean there's not much else to say other than you know if you are considering trying one of these or buying one of these don't hesitate it gives a it gets a solid thumbs up from me um again there are regular versions of the Talman in, in the Talman range which are even cheaper £169 I've seen them for but like I said it was only because this was five string and short scale that I thought I'd give it a go um, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed the demos the demos are the instrument straight into the computer into uh, bias effects um, with um, Logic Pro drummer and tune track drums doing the rhythm uh, parts and hopefully it gives a, an indication of what it sounds like. Uh, the first part of the demo, everything was full on. Second part, slightly slightly reduced on the bridge pickup, just to make it a little bit more uh, muddier, because I like everything to be a bit more murky. Um, so yeah, it, gets a, it certainly gets a, a thumbs up from me. Like I say, it's uh, uh, for the cash. It's a solid little instrument. Uh, and I don't mind it being mint green, you know, it's not too bad, you know, it's it's okay. Uh, I think the only problem is that the, the tip of there, the, there's a little bit of a mark. I don't know if you can see that there, probably not because it's focusing on my face, but there is a little mark on the end. That's the only blemish that's on it. But apart from that, you know, the, the, the neck is um, like a matte finish, it's not as glossy. So, you know, if you like that, it's a good chunky neck. Um, everything's okay. I don't like the little, the little buttons. They're very, they're almost like tiny little junior <laughs> buttons, but I suppose full size buttons on this bass would look ridiculous. But it's, again, that's something to get used to. <laughs> but other than that, 
I'm kind of uh, knocked out by the uh, tonality of it, you know, because there's lots of different sounds you can get from it. And again, it being a five string, uh, again, it's a budget five string. It's it's just a no brainer. So yeah, if you do see one of these around, or you're in the market for either a short scale or a five string, and you want to combine it, this is the one. I don't think there are any other short scale five strings in this price range. So really, really this is the only one for you to try. Uh, so yeah, that's it. My name's been Darren. I've been talking about the Ibanez TMB5 in the Talman range of bases of by Ibanez in delightful mint green. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to do what you need to do. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll do another one of these videos soon. Um, yeah, and of course we need engagement. So leave a comment in the description below. What do you think of a short scale five string bass? Is that weird? Or not? I don't know. You tell me. Thanks for watching. There's only one more thing left to say, and that is, ta-da!